Restoration. Restoration is brought to you by Hisense. Everyday prices for everyday people. Yeah, it's extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got gas protection. Afro chick, I'm going for Crojian Chinino. Amazing to come your way one more time. This is Restoration, and my name is Stacy. Let's take a word from our sponsors. I remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sanitary pad took the worry away. Easy. The new Yas extra long sanitary pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. We don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. 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 Feel confident. Stay fresh. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. 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 Extra long sanitary pad for extra comfort. We got yes protection. And we ne FSC. And we are our corner. Afro chicken, you know. I am so come up. A foot chicken in a mouth of a son cocra. A fade year natural hair forms when your hair extension. And how old so a foot chicken in a bin you bought a fem book called a natural as a sexual or beautiful difference. A foot chick. HBS Nick of Abai. Open your ear, walk up, come, come, enjoy FM. Pray. Zero two zero two seven four seven four six four. Afro chick, I'm going for crochet and chinini. Promo. So they are 2020. High sense. Yeah, my money now fits your pa. And if you do a money at DJ Nina, yeah, ni so yeah, damn what say. I a cost work. I wash them say. Yeah, but so much so pa. After 2020, yeah, did he say a very after pa? The promotion we share ni money na. Yeah, the bad brand mo. I'm a the only one high sense one. What you mean to me na? I'm not so sure about the high sense. I'm busy now. Mo, I'm not sure the deal. 
Me chile etiko po TV. I'm not to say over your high sense flat screen. Now wow, air condition ye de de passe ni keni kane de. I'm not no niye. But you high sense air condition. Then chile o kama. Now wow, we free the chip power ne. But be the high sense fridge and chip power bar to say high sense pill, high sense pack. And I'm out five years warranty. Catch an offer for a good year for any of the beers. I feel way a high sense affair. High sense everyday prices for everyday people. Restoration. Thank you to Ophelia of ABS Collection for my outfit. To Afro Chic Hair, this is our luxury braids collection. So you can go out there and get your Afro Chic luxury braids. You can call on 202 747464. A very big thank you going out to Divine Cassie for my makeup, to Stacey's Boutique GH for my shoes, and to Adam of GH Beauty Artistry for my guest makeup. And thank you to Jim Ray from now till March. We still have something amazing for you. So all you have to do is call Jim Ray and you get 30% off every land you buy. Call Jim Ray and they will sort you out and make you a landlord in Accra. A big thank you going out to Jay's Cakes and Buffet. And a very big thank you going out to our studio audience. We have students of Multimedia Institute of Ghana from Oprah Square, Accra. Thank you very much for coming. Give it up for yourselves. It's always a pleasure to have you. And if you're watching us at home, thank you very much because you make us simply amazing amazing by allowing us to serve you and if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel this is the time for you to do that and click the notification button so that each time we upload a new video you can watch it so if you haven't you can just go on youtube and type in restoration tv gh and you can subscribe to this channel most of the time as a people we bash ourselves for the things we wish we had and we sometimes bite ourselves for the things we don't have. Today, we're going to hear a story that will help you appreciate whatever you have and just be hopeful for what you could have or can have in the future. Our guest today is Gloria Opokudako. <laughs> Gloria, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Stacey. It's amazing to have you. You know, Gloria and I have been chatting on Facebook. And again, I will tell you, people think if they reach out to us on Facebook, we don't get back. But if you do, we get back. And that is where Gloria and I met. So, Gloria, let's just go into it. Can you tell us about yourself? Where did you grow up? I grew up in a small village called Chufuhiman in the central region. Okay, I've heard that. Oh. Is it close to Cape Coast or you drive off further? You drive off further after Kakum National Park, getting okay. to Chufopraso, wow. the Pra River. Okay. Yeah. And so how, how was growing up for you? Because you said for you, life was okay, life was normal, just like any other child. Till you were about six years, then you realized things were not really what you thought it was. I mean, what made you feel that way? What changed? What made what made you feel different? Okay. Um, as you all know, um, as you begin to grow, your height to must grow, right? Become tall. But I realized that as I was growing with my classmates, they were becoming taller and taller, and I wasn't increasing in height. So. People started calling me all sorts of names, uh, like Dwarf, um, Amotia, Akete, Obolo, that kind of thing. So, like, it was really heartbreaking to the extent that I didn't even like going to school. My mother had to chase me with Kane every morning. As soon as we wake up, I'll try to find an excuse. Whether, um, Whether you are sick or not, you yes. say, I have a headache. Yes, but fortunately, I have a mother who is a teacher. So, oh. you know. <laughs> we had the Uber call. Yes. <laughs> this woman will do everything to make sure that I go to school. Yeah, and even among my classmates, yeah, they were still laughing at me. 
But my mother kept encouraging me and with the support of my family, I think I became tough. Later on, I started defending myself. Okay, so let's say as a young child, six years, seven years, I'm sure they're not really tall. So by 10, 11, when your friends started to pick on you, were you worried that maybe it was something, most people say maybe a spiritual or maybe it's some kind of disorder. At that age, where you having concerns, did you think that, okay, maybe a time is going to come that I'll grow tall? Yeah, my mother used to tell me, I, I had a big tummy, you know. So my mother used to tell me that, mommy, when you now, you're full of the I'm thing. So I always had that thing. <laughs> the things mothers would say. Yes. That thing in my mind that, oh, one day, one, one day, day, the tummy, tummy will go down yes. and you grow tall. Then I will grow tall. So I was just expecting the tummy to. Were you the only different one in your family? Yes, please. All my siblings are tall. My mommy is tall. My daddy is tall. I'm the only one that is different. I know primary school cannot be as stressful as JHS and SHS. So as you move from primary school to that side of your education, how tough did it become for you? People started bullying me, especially in SS. And I, I realized that um, because they knew oh, Gloria is like this, she can't defend herself. And unfortunately for me, um, I remember when going to senior high school, in fact, I have a bad temper. So my grandmother, called me and said, oh, my dear, she knew who, there were one who I know what come in, so be you, be be So the first I told what come as soon as I for the sake of my grandmother. So in high school, I just kept telling myself that no, for the sake of grandma, don't mind there. But I got to a time, I got fed up, and I even called my mom that I don't think you, you, I, you I can stay in that school again. And my mother said, ah, Mommy, what I mean is that I'm not I don't know how I'm going to be. So I told myself that, no, I have to come back to how I was when I was defending myself. <laughs> you, have, you have to leave the grandma <laughs> advice. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I also decided to defend myself. And I think people saw the other side of me. <laughs> to the extent that some people, even when I pass here, someone can the other side, wow. yes. But I just felt I was At using At least that. you had built your own defense system. Yes, and that made me feel comfortable to complete. Uh, so yes. how, how was um, academics? Were you a straight A student? Were you an average student? Uh, that's one thing I really thank God for, because I always tell myself that I'm not strong to do hard work, anything that involves strength. By God's grace, God has given me at least a little like IQ. You, that. High <laughs> IQ. Because <laughs> from, from my investigation, you're always amongst the top five wherever yes. you've been academically. So that means, oh boy. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. It's so at least you had a fair balance. Even if you were not as tall as they were, your brains was tall and high but all of them. Yes, but people didn't consider that. I remember back in um, junior high school, you know how girls are, they, all, they will always group and talk about those who are beautiful, they will start arranging the people that are beautiful. They never spoke about the intelligence. They always at the bottom. Yes, the <laughs> intelligence. They put you at the bottom and never do an intelligent one. Yes. And, and I even saw it among, like, the teachers, too. Especially, we all know that, oh, when it comes to free, uh, profession, like this, mostly it's those who are very the shots. Yes. So at least this is where I can also prove myself mm -hmm. that I'm worth it, you know. Yeah, but it will come and they will mention the prefects and out well, of gosh. the best five, you see that lawyer is the only person who is in part. Why? So I always felt what, like... What, what, what was the reason? They never gave me a reason, but I, I just knew that it's because of how the I height. Am. Yes. 
that yes. you never confronted any of your teachers to ask why you or let me did you show interest because sometimes the teachers also look out for people who are interested the school i went to it's like i told you it's in a village mm -hmm. and it is well, in fact the best school in the <laughs> village and everything is about academics because that is what has given the school the name, name. We are coming from the village, all right. But when it comes to pre uh, presidential award, central region, we get it. Yeah. Even though we are coming from a village where there was no electricity, there was no pipe-borne water. Really? Yes. And you know the funny thing? The, the school bus that people enjoy, mm -hmm. we were using those big trucks that Bullshit. carries uh, sand. Anyaka? Yes. That was my school bus. Nice one. Hey, this is swag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and your car? Yes. Those are the, the big trucks. The big trucks. Construction trucks. Yes. That so was your they school will pack bus. So they all the children. Student, yes. Then the two teachers will sit in front. Mm -hmm. Oh, they want the comforts. <laughs> 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 yes. That was the school bus. And that was how you went to school? Yes, I had to every... learn with Lantern. Lantern, every night. So for such a person to go through this and be able to excel and get a good school in the city, that should tell you that the priority of the school was based yeah. on academics. So everything was academics. When they are choosing professorship, it is academics. I just want to know, I mean, when I was in school, I was, I was very vocal. So if something is not going on right, I could go to a teacher or the headmaster. And you know, in SHS, you have your headmaster academics or headmistress academics. So you can go there to ask questions. It's a village. So that kind of fear, respect for the elderly. It's something that you and can... And I think that is where we get it wrong as a society. The fact that a child is vocal does not mean the child does not respect because it's your rights. At the end, you would want to be a prefect. You have all the good grades. You're not getting it. So there should be some sort of dialogue. I once confronted a teacher. That was um, junior JHS 1. And you know, um, my school, what they do is that they make their first girl... The best girl mm -hmm. choose Wesley girls. Okay. And so we were three girls that were competing for the first position, position as a girl. Because all the three of us wanted to go to Wesley girls. And each of us had its strength. Mm -hmm. And mine was uh, mathematics and social studies. And this teacher was, in fact, the headmaster was teaching social studies. The first time the man marked my work, he came to say that he has taught for about 15 or 20 years, and nobody has called that marks. Hi. Yes. The next time the man brought my, came to share, like the exam papers. No, I wasn't comfortable with the marks I saw. So I decided to compare with other, other colleagues. People. Yes. Because, ah, so I realized that even some of them, I wrote better than what those people wrote. But the man has given them good marks. So I went to confront him. That say, how come I'm getting this mark? And he said that I know your strength and I know that you can do better. That's how come I decided to give you this so that's what next time you work on. And I said, that is not right. Because you know, this is what we are going to present. Yeah. Grade me on. So you shouldn't do that. You just have to call me and tell me that, oh, Gloria, you should have I know done you better. can do better. But you can't deny me of the marks that I deserve. And since that time, this man decided no to... Low marks. Just hate me, you know, <laughs> to the extent that um, when we got to final year, we're about to write BC. 
he was also teaching English too. He came to class to come and mention those that he thinks they will get one in English and one in social studies. The man didn't mention my name. Everybody in the class knows that Gloria must get one in English. They all knew, but he didn't mention my name. And I didn't care. You get it. You, you had just grown a tough skin. Oh. He even reported me to my mother. So I think I just explained it to my mother. My mother understood it because he is also a teacher. Mm -hmm. So he knew that he was at fault. Now let's leave the village drama for them. When you left the village and came to the city, how did you fit in? Oh, I don't think I still fit in here. It's because it? of some experiences that I encountered during my national service. Though, after national service, as usual, they will let all of us write an aptitude test. Mm -hmm. Then, based on that, they will select some people to start interviewing. After national service, because of interview, I had to work for eight good months, but I had three. And the funny thing is, everybody knows that they are selecting the people based on the aptitude test mm -hmm. that we wrote. People who didn't pass were called. Some even used just a day to complete the four interviews. Wow. The people that I started the interview with, one day, I was just there, I received a message that uh, your national service has ended and so you shouldn't come to work again. And to my surprise, the rest of the people were going for their final interview. Paul. The only thing I said was, so if I was tall like them, had this Brazilian hair they've put on and makeup. <laughs> and the high heels. And the high heels. Wouldn't I have also done that? And now my department, everybody knew I was doing a good job. We were about, I think, 10 or 12 national service personnel in my department. Among the 10 of us, I was the one that the head of department liked very much. In fact, if I'm not there, this man would wait if, if it would take me two hours to come back to the office for this man to drink water, he would sit down and wait. and wait till I come. So what changed? Because the man left to another bank. So you did your national service in a bank? I did my national service in a bank. Everybody liked me. When we did an uh, appraisal in my department, I had the highest mark. In fact, the, the, the department head made me even appraise my colleagues. In fact, one day, I, I saw that uh, they had called all the national service personnel except me, and they were talking to them. When they came back, I saw that people were crying. So I asked, ah, now what did they tell, tell you? Me. And one, I was very free with one of the staff members. Mm -hmm. So I went to ask her that, oh, what happened that Some my people, people are, crying. are crying? He said, mm, we had to give it to them. We were telling them that can't they learn from you? I know this show, they will definitely watch it. Yeah, they so I wouldn't hold anything back. Yes. Can't you learn from Gloria? And they told the other guy that you claim you came with first class, but Gloria has come to prove to us that she indeed went for a first class. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Life and it issues. I, I, I know you're also on the edge of your seats <laughs> with this conversation. I, I really want to get to know more, and I'm sure you also want to get to know more. But we'll be right back after this break.
timeless. I remember the days I just couldn't go to the gym because it was that time of the month. Yas extra long sandy chip took the worry away. Easy. Yas comfort, I got Yas confidence, I got Yas. The new Yas Extra Long Sanitary Pad is the joy of every woman. It is extra absorbent and fits perfect. We don't allow anything to hold you back when it's that time. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes. Feel confident. Stay fresh. Hi. Is this supposed to be that time of the month? Yes. I got Yas confidence. I got Yas. We got Yas protection. I got Yaz Extra Long Sanitary Pad for extra comfort. We got Yaz Protection. Irina FC. Irina Akono. Afu Chiki Mini. Emoto Kama. Afu Chiki Mini. Emma Hofe Sunko Kra. A fair dear natural hair for us when your hair extension. And how old to Afro chicken when you be new border fem book call? A natural as a sexual or being good difference. Afro chick, HBS neck of a buy. Open your work, you come lemme, you have been joy FM. Pray 0202 I love to eat a tasty breakfast in the morning Something delicious and healthy Filled with vitamins That's my day right, makes me so bright Keeps my body happy Let me tell you about what I eat It's my secret Hooch, crunch, crunch, of this Crunch, 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 conflicts. Mm -hmm. Hooch, crunch, crunch, conflicts. Yeah. Hooch, crunch, crunch, conflicts. Wow. I say, Hooch, crunch, crunch, conflicts. Hooch, crunch, crunch, conflicts. Crunch it. Yeah. So much, my boy, ya. It's just so much, Miss Rattoe. Who does it dance? What? Who is a assassin? A assassin, you can never our Jim Ray Company Limited. Mama, my deal. Some February, we will be with you. And the company match the way you can make and say, the brand new assassin, I will be in your suit. If it's Jim Ray Company Limited, we have a brand new color TV, 32 inch. What are you? Me and the amount. When you have a energy promo. And this is a woman who said, Assassin of Buon and Kassab, you have to take 30%. What did Jim Ray have? Now they are Jim Ray is Assassin. Everywhere to carry. Kofolia, Afienya, West Palm City, Kaswa, East Palm City, Kaswa, and the Shah Hills. Numbers me here 0509 461675 and 0265 149942. Ayajim Ray Company Limited, Tonaji Promo. There are the assets or the era 2020. High sense, you have a money in a fish yapa. And if you do a money at DJ Nina, you need so you're done. What say I cost work? I wish I would say you have a summer song. After 2020, you did say a very affair. You promise you have a money in a year. The bad bramble. I'm a dear. We know high sense. Oh no, what to me at to me in a mass of South Africa high sense and Luciano. No, I'm sure that you have a ethical put TV. I'm not to sell a high sense flat screen. Now, wow, air condition, you did the passing in Kenny Canada. I'm running here. But you, high sense air condition, then chill, come on. Now, wow, we'll freeze the chip power now. But high sense fridge and chip power back to say high sense pill, high sense pop, and about five years warranty. Catch an offer for, I will see a four, and you'll be be outside. I feel way. A high sense cafe, high sense, everyday prices for everyday people. So it's another week and we're still at the Mala Market and I'm meeting a lot of fans of restoration and I'm really impressed and I'm so happy. It's like most of the women love this show. So I am here with another beautiful 
woman. Sweet at to say. Patrona Miyadi. Patrona Frose. Patrona Miyadi. Auntie Grace. 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 Auntie I told me, Persania, almost if I true for no more share and crime a full front so any bound muscle. I will be beyond me. Now, dear Hippan, I will need you. If I told you, I may need you, we are lady no call it great now. Of course, of fire, maybe. Oh, okay. See, I disturb and I win your free, you know. If I told Miss Yan say, Sell war, Ghana. And I say, oh, we are here. There will be our Sauma when you so. Because I want to call you, and you'll be mine soon. You'll be our Michelle situation now, said your car, say, or for a money idea, dear now. And my mirror for you. In the mess, Remini, I know no success or more. Why? It will be out of cry, it's me tongue at the age. In two or one, my winning so dear. Oh, baby, I saw the hand patch. I asked the old much rewa. She said, Don't you think? Don't so I don't forget to be a work a crown, so be my swasm. Yet, no more. But some man, why are there? In the nest, I may buy a man by the bonnet. Aye, your sponsor high sense and a ash mammy. Most men can't share what say, yeah, that's it. Send you with your support to show a year fit in nearby a high sense for say, me for we and grow. So we support your restoration. And today, now we catch your high sense for that. You may catch your high sense for saying, I'm in strong. On my own with Juman and Yakasi, and cost will be brave. I have to make a check down a force. Will be a share program, be not a show on crane and my watch a travel rare. The diocese funds was in. Yes, yeah, that's the brave restoration. winner for this week's high sense super crazy giveaway moment so if you want us to visit you or if you know of someone who is a big fan of the show all you have to do is get in touch with us on our various social media platforms on instagram you can link up on at restoration with stacy or at stacy i'm watching gh on facebook Stacy Amwating or Restoration with Stacy, or you can also call us. Our numbers are on the screen, and we will definitely come and visit you or pay that special someone who is a big fan of this show a visit from High Sense. So again, in the studio today, Gloria, you would have your High Sense super crazy giveaway moment, and our audience, as always, are very eager to take something home. But before we get excited. Let me come back into that life. I mean, who does that? You are the best and they will rob you of what you deserve to give to someone else. One, that is not fair. Two, it's not acceptable. I mean, you cannot just do that. Did it frustrate you? You know, um, funny enough, the very day that um, I got that email, I was also involved in an accident. How? come i mean was it after the accident that you got the mail or you got the mail no. and out of frustration it was it was um 24th may so the next day which was, was 25th yes was a holiday which year was this that was 2018 that's just two years back yes so on the 25th may so i decided i decided to visit my mom, take an, take advantage of the holiday and visit my mom. So I left very early after you are sacking me, right, to leave. So after lunch break, I decided to take travel to Asimfo. So that's where my mother works, to go and visit her. And on the way, it was like 15 minutes to Asimfo. So that was as, uh, Asimansu. Yes. Another car came to hit the car that I was in. So the accident took my mind off that particular moment. I thought um, 
it wasn't anything bad because I just felt sharp pains on my hip. It was more like it was locked. Uh, so um, we went to Asimfosu Hospital, St. Francis Xavier. Unfortunately, their x-ray machine wasn't working. So they told me to come back on Monday for the x-ray. But um, I had to come back to Accra on Saturday. So I, after, when I came to Accra, I went to Lekma Hospital uh, to, to have, have the x-ray. second opinion. Yes. Yes. So it was through the x-ray that I realized my hip joints were damaged. Damaged. Yes, so I was referred to 37. Um, and I, I would have to let viewers know, we'll be sharing some of the pictures. They are quite disturbing. But wait, damaged. I mean, as in, it, was it broken or it was a little tilt or like damaged? I, I mean, should I say cells? They just said the, the, the bone is dead. So it's like there's no life in the bone. And they were rubbing each other. You know, um, the hip joint, mm -hmm. we have the femur and the socket. So it's, it's like um, oval shape, mm -hmm. like ball and socket. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't rub um, each, other. each other. But because the bones were dead, it was rubbing each other. So anytime I move my leg, I have to feel a sharp pain at the hip. And my legs started swelling. Swelling it was unbearable to sleep, especially at night. It's like they've put your leg in fire. That was the feeling. So after seeing the orthopedic surgeon, they suggested I had an implant because there is no medicine to correct that. The only thing is to wear an implant. And when they brought the cost, one implant alone was 3,000 pounds. The hospital was going to charge 8,000 Ghana CD each. That's 16,000 CDs? Yes. Plus 6,000 pounds. And I was even supposed to do a spine one, but for that one, mm. I've told a surgeon that I don't think I can <laughs> bear any pain again for now. So until I think it's unbearable before I would do you that. So try to do that. I've not even added the, the spine, spine post. No, this one is just the hip. Just to get the legs going well for you so that the pain is also gone. Yes. So how, how painful was fixing the implants? I don't know how to describe the pain. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you have a headache and you think the world is coming to an end. Hmm. The pain started even before the surgery. Because just thinking about it psychologically. Not even that um they were supposed to insect a tube at my spine. And you know, I already have a problem at the spine. spine. So any little pressure is unbearable. And they tried and tried and tried. Oh, they were just injecting the back like that, <sighs> trying to find the, the hole to insert the tube for about 30 minutes. That was the first surgery. About 30 minutes, they couldn't locate the whole, I was just screaming at the theater. It was unbearable. And after the surgery too, if, if you are not even fortunate, lucky, they will let you walk on it the very day you had the surgery. Why? 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 They oh, claim gosh. it's like um, a plant that is germinating so at the early it's, stage. It's when therapeutical. It breaks, yes. So 
I was fortunate I didn't wake up early. <laughs> when I woke up, it was around 4.45, there about. Okay. So um, I got back to the world almost 6. That time oh, was late, so. <laughs> yes, so it was the next day that I had to walk. Oh, ouch. I even feel pain in my joints. <laughs> On it. But the second surgery was even worse. For the second, when, when they do the implants for you, uh, the, you gain a little height, an inch. Oh. Or sometimes two. Because you're three feet. Yes. So um, when they are doing the second leg for you, the surgeon must measure it well, if not. So that you don't become... One becomes, leg will be longer than the other. Well, that, that is called Ghana is longer than Africa. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I learned there was a little complication. Oh. In the course of the surgery, my breast started to cease. So um, they, they really went through a lot, lot. to revive me. If not Don't tell so me good. they didn't measure right. <laughs> they didn't get it. So at the end, the surgeon had to stretch the you know the science the scientists they have the ten down or something like that to so that the leg uh, he can get the height okay. and unfortunately it damaged the nerves oh. so the second surgery was battling with surgery pain and nerve pains oh oh you've been through a lot yes mm -hmm. just to reduce the pain every but week did you, did you get any increase in the height? Yes, I've been a little height. Okay, how many inches? I didn't even. So you are now three point. I don't even know, but any time I wear you my old no, clothes, when I came home, any clothes that I wear has become short. Oh, and why it's into? Yes. Wow. But through, through it all, how did you become a good fighter? To survive is not easy. Mentally, spiritually, physically, it's draining. How were you able to fight this? The thought of my mother gave me the courage to hold on because I know how, how much the woman has going to to take care of me. She has really suffered. I didn't even talk about senior high school. Senior high school, I, I had the, the colopod disease, yes. I couldn't sleep on the bed. I couldn't stand. I, could, I couldn't sit. The only thing I could do was to stand. That was how come I'm now, yes, having that spine issue. So you had to stand throughout? I was standing. And they used to, they gave me some injection. I wasn't supposed to bath for five days because they had to measure. They claim if water touches it, everything will. You have to start all over. And so my body was itching. This woman had to stand with me, scratching my body with comb. Oh. She has really been through a lot. So I always tell myself I have to succeed in life to make sure that this woman enjoys the little... I mean, she, she's blessed to have you, to have you and have what other people think is not cool. And it so happens you have bigger and better brains than all of them to have a first class. That is not a joke. Some are pretty, they have the money from good homes, and they cannot even get, if there is fourth class crowd, they won't get. So, I mean, beauty is not what we see on the outside. There are some people that I see and I say they are beautiful, not because they have a pretty face, because they are intelligent, they are smart, they are determined. For me, that is beauty, it's inward, not all the makeup. And I mean, now beauty is even sold in shops. 
you go see divine or adore and they'll make you up. And I mean, even if you are not all that, you begin to look all that. But if you have a good heart and you're able to channel all your negatives into positives, that is beauty for me. So I sit across you looking at the most beautiful girl I've seen in 2020. <laughs> For all those haters at that bank, it's their loss. You know why? They were so blind. They thought you had a fault, a deformity. You didn't. They had it. Because a beautiful woman stood in front of them, and they did not take advantage of what you had within. Because if they had given you a chance, I'm sure by now, that branch would have been a mega place. So it's their loss. Okay, so forget about them. And uh, they will come looking for you. When they come, tell them I'm your manager. I will sit in and do the negotiations. So what, what, what are you doing now? Um, from the bank, uh, fortunately for me, someone recommended me to a, a pension firm. Um, I did actuarial science. It's okay. all about risk pension insurance. Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, I started working there, but I was on probation. And it was after four months that I had to do the surgery. I did the first one um, the last year, December, December 10th, oh. that I did the first one. Then the second one was February 2019th, you did a second one. Yes, yes, please. And because of the nerve issue, I think I started working with the coaches. Was it around um, October, just last year, October, mm -hmm. that I was able to hold the coaches to work. Well, then it's taking you a long time. Yes. When I had the first surgery, it took me four weeks to leave the crutches. But because this one you had the complications. Nerves, yes. So even so now, uh, because I wasn't confirmed, they had to put their work on hold. hold. Yes, please. And so now... The doctor, the surgeon hasn't declared me fit to start working again, even though I'm pushing him to <laughs> allow me to. No, you, you need to listen to the surgeon because I'm sure he doesn't want another complication. He tried once and there was a complication. So this time we just have to try and listen to him. So what's your life's expectation? I want to be um, one of the leading financial analysts in the world. You know why I'm clapping? She did not say Ghana. You, we ask you, what do you want to be? I want to be the richest person in Ghana. I want to be the one in Ghana. You see why she has smarter brains? She said the world. That means she's not limiting herself. So you sit there and you think you're beautiful, you have everything intact, and you're still sobbing a big shame on you. Because once you have life, you have everything, and you can achieve whatever you want in this life. I'm a five. So now I'm a little excited. So I can come to you for our high sense, super crazy giveaway moment. Then when we're done, Gloria will take her turn. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> so, Gloria, whilst they are passing it round here, let me just get up and serve you. So, we have a lot of envelopes, a lot of colors. So, you can just pick one and hold on to it <laughs> till they are done. Then we can go on and see what high sense is giving you today. <laughs> I want to see who got lucky. got lucky oh okay oh mousy got lucky okay so let's have our present from hisense 
Oh, come on, give it up for her. Are you jealous? Yes. They are jealous. <laughs> okay, so this is from High Sense. Happy New Year. Enjoy the new year, and 2020 will be great. I hope you're taking a lot of inspiration from Gloria. Yes. Okay. Yes. That is just between the two of us. <laughs> okay, so Mousy is our winner for this week's High Sense Super Crazy Giveaway Moment. Gloria, it's your turn. I need you to show those people at the bank and your mates. Okay, so Gloria takes home a high sense rice cooker. Come on, let's give it up. I hope you eat rice, a lot of rice. Yes. So now you don't have to worry yourself, especially with all the nerve issues and all that. All you have to do, Ode, Emono, Egumua. Now they are plugging. Why? So let me help you. This is not the only thing we're giving to you. So this can be here. So from our sponsor, Lexta Ghana Limited, producers of Yaz products, we have this hamper for you. This is from Yaz. They are saying, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on being the best at everything you do. And they wish you the very best. Then we also have from Lexta Ghana, Hooch Conflicts. And for every pack, you get a free exercise book in there. So thank you very much for coming. Let me place this one here because it's food. And again, from our partners at Jay's Cakes, you're saying that you're sure after surgery, you've not really celebrated. So Jay's Cakes is giving you a cake to celebrate your recovery and to wish you very well. And Jay's Cakes is located at Ashali Boche School Junction. So all these are coming from our partners. We're saying a very big thank you. Thank you for being strong. Thank you for being the smartest woman aiming to be the best financial analyst in the world. And over here, we love stories like yours and we like people to grow and become better. So when we started communicating from all the mails we exchanged, I actually had a conversation with one of our partners about you. They are thrilled about your story. They saw your pictures and they were fascinated that someone would have such fighting spirit. So this special partner of ours wants you to have something special. They gave you an amazing high sense, super crazy giveaway moment. But high sense is telling me to tell you they believe you can do great and they believe you can be a great business owner if you decide to. So High Sense is giving you 10,000 Ghana CDs. So from here, we'll go to their offices where they are going to present the money to you. So the money is not coming to me. Like we always do on restoration, it never comes to us. We always give it to those who really deserve it because they said with a story like yours, if they're able to set you up, you can do amazing. And this is coming from Restoration's um, initiative, which is the Youth to Lead Youth to Lead initiative. So they're supporting you with ten thousand Ghana cities, and they believe you're going to do great. So don't disappoint us. Do you have anything to say to my sense? Don't cry. Gloria is crying. Aww. Let me give, let, let's give her time. She's just soaking it in. Do you need tissue? Sure. Mm -hmm. What do you have to tell High Sense? God richly bless them. I'm so grateful. Well, I can at least say this is tears of joy. And this is one of the initiatives we are doing this year as Team Restoration. It's the Youth to Lead initiative. And we, we believe a lot of youth out there can do great when they get that support. So this year, we would be picking few people who really need help to support them. So hi, Sense, thank you very much for believing in this initiative and for having this passion for Gloria's story. And we know that wherever you're taking this money from, God is going to replace it for you in multiple folds. 
because this is a seed you're sowing and we know it's going to germinate into greater plants. But a very big thank you going out to Lexta Ghana Limited, producers of Yaz Washing Powder and Yaz Sanitary Pad, to Hooch Corn and Choco Flakes, to High Sense. Thank you, everyday prices for everyday people. Whatever you need so far as electronics are concerned, visit any of the High Sense showrooms. And now High Sense is across Ghana. So wherever you're calling from, we will show be there to serve you right and a very big thank you going out to gtp gtp thank you very much for my fabric you've been with us over the years and we really appreciate you to jim ray jim ray estate i told you this time is a 30 percent discount buy a land get 30 percent discount off the numbers are right here on your screen and to our donors what will we do without you? A big thank you going out to Ophelia of ABS Collection for my outfit. Ophelia is located at Danceman Zodiac near the MTN office. My makeup by Divine Cassie and Glorious Makeup by Adum of GH Beauty Artistry. Guys, thank you very much. You rock. My hair is the Afro Chic Luxury Braids. This is new on the market as part of our new collection for 2020 and beyond. So you can call the number 0202747464 and you can braid it nicely. These braids were done by Mansa of Big D Salon Dance so my first stop, thank you very much, Mansa, and your team. And my shoes are by Stacey's Boutique GH. And of course, we come to you live every time from La Palme Royal Beach Hotel. We have the most competitive rates on the market. So if you're thinking of that special vacation for the family or business, or you're looking for the ideal location for all your events and conferences, make sure you get in touch with La Palme Royal Beach Hotel. Studio audience, thank you very much. You're amazing. To Multimedia Institute of Ghana, located at Oprah Square, Accra. Mwah. You guys are amazing. I love you all. Thank you for coming. And you watching us at home, I hope Gloria's story has really inspired you and you're not just going to sit down and wish and hope for diamonds to fall from the sky. You're going to go out there and get your hands busy with some work. Thank you very much, my team, M-Clan Media. You're amazing. Team Platinum, what would I do without you? You just make this whole journey so beautiful. So this has been this week's episode and we know that you have been inspired. Make a date with us same time right here on this channel next week. And always to remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. See you next week. Welcome to the end of the tunnel. I see a bright light shining through. And it's just for you